and welcome back to Dark Side of the Mic. Today I thought we'd look at mics that I think sound the same and hopefully we can come up with a better title than that for this segment eventually. But in the red corner today we have the S Electronics V7X and in the blue corner we have the Bear Dynamic M21TG. Now these are both instrument dynamic mics and both have an exceptionally wide frequency response. So you're looking at a response that goes up to 18 and 19 kilohertz respectively. And I think that translates into a much more condenser-like sound. It's very smooth in the high end, and the frequency response from both mics, when you look at it, is very, very similar. I think maybe the Bear Dynamic has a slightly bit more lift in the air frequencies, but other than that, they look very, very close to each other. And hopefully when we jump back and forward between the two, that should bear out as you listen. Another thing about these mics is that they're very receptive to proximity and as you get closer to each of them you really hear that low end kick in. And again if you look at the frequency response for both of these mics, again the graphs say a similar story, they're very very close to each other. So you can really dial in how much warmth you want out each of them the more you get close to the front of the capsule, which is something I really enjoy about both of these. The V7X is a super cardioid mic, while the M21TG is hypercardioid. So again, a very similar polar pattern, and again, a very similar off-axis response for both of them. I think this makes them ideal for podcasting, particularly in less than ideal environments, as they will reject a lot of the noise from the sides. One thing to note though is that as instrument dynamic mics, they're not really designed for spoken word applications and as such, plosive protection on both of these is pretty much non-existent. So you want to be careful with that and use a pop filter or have them pointed at the corner of your mouth and talk across them so that any puffs of air are going into the open space and not directly into the capsule. But if you do that, I think you'll be absolutely fine and I wouldn't let that put you off buying these as a spoken word application mic particularly for podcasting. Now, I think these are probably my two favourite dynamic mics at the moment for my voice and spoken word. I tend to find the SM7B is just slightly too dark, particularly in flat mode, for my voice. And I need that little bit extra kind of presence boost in the high end, but I still want that warmth down below, if you like. And I think these fit that bill perfectly. So if you're in that boat, I would have a look at these, particularly the V7X, because it's only £75. The M21TG is £160 to £200, depending on where you look. But have a listen and see if you can hear a difference there that's worth that extra. I think they're both fantastic options. And if you're looking for a decent podcast mic that has that warm, rich, smooth sound, slightly brighter than SM7B, I think these are two great options.